hey guys welcome again to my channel so if you are nigerian whether you are male or female you have definitely heard it being said oh nigerian women are so bad at conversations they're really terrible at chatting it's always kind of like an interview format with nigerian women they can hold conversations they don't have like initiatives to like push a conversation and yada 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 you've heard it for sure because it's such a commonplace thing for nigerian men to say and for me, I just feel like if we don't address it, anybody who isn't Nigerian, who sees how commonplace such a statement is, will just take it as the truth. So here we're going to be dissecting what's what and what's not what, if it's the truth or if it's just a myth or a fallacy that our men like to come up with. So basically, I would bring it down to an issue of culture, right? A culture is the way of life of a people, as you know. And when said people are not exposed, having been to different places to, you know, engage or experience other cultures, meet up with people from other places, there is bound to be a certain redundancy or a certain generalization about how such people behave or how they conduct themselves. Why I'm saying this is because I would say the problem is not that Nigerian women have a certain way they are when they chat. It's that the culture has made it so that it seems like they're that way. Might be a bit confusing, so let me just break it down. Let's describe a Nigerian girl chatting and a Ukrainian girl, for example, because I've lived in Ukraine for five years and I've actually had two housemates who are Ukrainian. So I believe I understand a bit of their uh, persona when it comes to how they relate with other people, especially the opposite gender. Um, if you're talking to a Ukrainian girl, right, let's say you're chatting her off for whatever reason, romantic or something or whatever, but you're talking to her and she has absolutely no interest in you. Like she sees you, she knows, oh, this is not my type. This person doesn't look like it. It doesn't sound like it. It's just not my type. She's not even going to give you time of day. She will not even, like, there will be no conversation. The conversation will be non-existent. Non it will be zilch, nada, zero. So there will be no basis for you to even judge whether she is um good at having conversations or whether she is the, the interview type of conversationalist like nigerian men like to see nigerian women ah so there'll be no conversation for you to judge of because if she's not interested there'll be no response it will just be like you're blanked out you're just cut off you're just ghosted right of course i'm not talking about the first time because the first time you talk to somebody there might be a response or might not be it depends but after said conversation if she has gauged you and she's seen that she has no interest whatsoever the likelihood is that she just would not even respond further so you will not even be able to judge her conversation skills but a nigerian girl the average nigerian girl because i tend to think i am different when i have a conversation with a person i am judging based on so many things like for instance if you approach me with the notion of a relationship or something romantic and i am not interested in you you're not my type there is really nothing going on there for me emotionally i'm not going to simply blank you or ghost you based on based off of that because i believe that we meet people for several reasons it could be friendships it could be acquaintances you never really know where you meet people in your life or how you might help them or how they might help you so i tend to actually just talk to people before i make a decision now where i would make my decision to ghost you because i would also ghost you i tend to be a bit more like the ukrainian girls if i have nothing i see that i can benefit from you intellectually or physically or whatever nothing that i think can join us i would ghost you but if i do that i would actually have a conversation with you say a couple of times and then i would judge your mental capacity and if i just feel like you know mentally this person is so par then i would ghost you but for the average nigerian girl and this is where i'm going it's, it tends to be different because the average Nigerian girl, and I think it has to be upbringing, it has to be, that's why I mentioned culture, the way we are, we, are, we are made to carry men, or you have to have a man by a certain age, you have to be married by a certain age, uh, yada yada. So the average Nigerian girl is having this mentality of, you know what, half bread is better than none. A bed in hand is better than two in the forest. So when you approach her and she has no interest, and she knows she has no interest, she probably will still place you on the what i would call a placeholding and i have a video on that and that is basically what i think a lot of nigerian men are experiencing and they are so uh in they're in denial or their ego will not let them understand that that is what they're experiencing it is placeholding because she's thinking huh look let me just keep this person because you never know like a bed in hand better than two in the forest so let me just keep this person and she's placeholding but she has no interest in you so you see their contact list and she saved this one as maga she saved this one as shawarma guy she saved this one as pizza guy data guy 80 for the really wicked ones 
and all she wants is those things that you give to her because when a man is whipped i mean <laughs> you really can just get whatever because i have to say men are cheap especially nigerian men men are really cheap it's very easy to get a man like very easy to have him whipped and it takes a while for them to come to their senses and be like, this girl is just using me she really doesn't have any interest in me but in the initial sense you give them breadcrumb attention and you can get things from them you build them and they deliver which is why men are always complaining about billing because they're giving and not really getting anything in return for what they're giving and that is because the girl has put you on the placeholding vibes she's giving you breadcrumbs attention and she's getting things from you in return now it is those things that she's getting from you that is keeping her in that situation so then you say oh the conversation is just whatever nigerian girls can't charge she has no interest in you so she's not going to expend her energy she's not going to try to keep the conversation going she's not going to try to make it flourish she's not going to try to get to know you she's not going to be curious because she has no interest what she wants is what you're giving her and so she'll give you breadcrumbs attention once in a while just to keep you on a leash sort of place you on that place holding like tight leash so you're not going anywhere but she really isn't committing to you in any way so the conversation also would show that she has absolutely no interest but because again men are in denial and they have such a huge ego they don't want to think that oh this girl does not actually want me they don't want to ever consider oh this girl actually is not feeling me they don't want to consider him they just say oh nigerian girls cannot chat but because if they've had any conversation with other nationalities which most of these people haven't because they've not been exposed they're actually not going anywhere but nigeria so they have not actually communicated with other people but even if they've communicated with other people if two things involved if she's interested the conversation is animated if she's uninterested there is no conversation whatsoever so you can't judge because those ones they can't even, they're not even going to pretend if they don't want you they don't want you to move right except the ones that might be polite for a certain reason and those ones you also see that the conversation is just they're just being polite but because you've not had these experiences with other people you see nigerian girls is nigerian that who who else have you had a conversation with what other nationalities have you had conversations with but even if you've had conversation with other nationalities it's because they don't have that mentality of a bread a, a half a half bread is better than no let me just keep this man just in case i don't find another one they don't have that mentality because their society nobody's pressurizing them to get married nobody is insulting them for being tatty and unmarried nobody is making marriage the whole crux of a woman's life so they really don't care if they don't like it they just ghost you like move bro but a nigerian girl will try to be weighing her options <laughs> just in case so if i start getting to 28 i'll just marry this one a lot of girls have just married because of the title not because they really want that particular person he was just available so many girls will keep you on the just available list in case they don't find prince charming and that is what most of you are place holding you're being you're basically just waiting just in case she doesn't find what she wants and of course if you're not exactly what she wants she's not going to be putting the energy that you're putting and like i said when once energies are not matched you're putting 100 she's putting 20 or 10 or whatever once the energies are not matched of course you'll feel it and so you say the conversation is this the conversation is that what i always say to nigerian men whenever they say this whole thing of oh nigerian women are not good conversationalists i always tell them but it is also you men who complain oh this girl is sending me floods of messages she's sending me paragraphs she's sending me epistles she always wants to talk she's always clingy now that's because that girl is somebody you are not interested in you're giving her breadcrumb attention because maybe you want to get sexual favors from her you want her to cook for you you want her to whatever clean for you whatever it is the perks you're getting from her so you're giving her breadcrumbs attention and you're also placeholding for that perk that you're getting but you're not putting in enough energy in the conversation and she's doing the work trying to get to know you because she really likes you and for you it's bothersome because you're not into her and so you say oh she's sending me too many messages she's flooding me she's sending me epistles and you you're replying with one word i reply after one hour she replies me after one second because you're not interested that is the exact same thing these girls are doing to you that you're saying nigerian girls cannot chat i don't understand why men cannot really just put a and a or b and b together i think it's the ego they just don't ever want to ever want to just say oh she actually does not want me because they're too egotistic but that's what's going on the same way you do with girls when you're not interested and you feel their message their attention is bothersome and you don't give them enough you don't chat when you're not interested you go, of course you're not chatting a lot you're not it's not animated it's the same way she could also say you're boring but the girl would rather say oh he's just calm he's not interested he's not even giving me attention don't call it what it is but men don't want to say it as it is they can't chat she can't chat she's not interested in you point blank period like for any nationality if you're going to say people cannot talk it can't be nigeria i mean it cannot be a nigerian we talk 
that is one thing that we know how to do we can catch crews for days and you have female friends your female friends talk they catch crews they play and then you think those ones cannot talk to a man that they like not possible they don't like you they don't want you you're there for a particular reason and once that reason is fulfilled onto the next or the minute she sees somebody that actually fits everything she wants onto the next when you see a girl who is interested in a man it's clear she wants to talk to him all the time she wants his attention she wants to be the center of his world she literally wants him to revolve around her she wants to always be there talking to him always being there around him like when he's not even giving her that attention you hear them complaining oh he has not even checked it for me today he has not even because they always want to talk to their person so if she's not like that with you I'm sorry, but the unfortunate news is that she does not want you. You need to just come to terms with that and just hold on to that bitter truth so that you stop wasting your time and your resources. Because you're giving time, you're giving money, you're giving all of your attention, you're giving all of your emotions, and you're not getting anything. And you're saying, oh, it's just Nigerian girls, they can't chat. We can chat. We don't want you. And I'm saying we, because me, I don't even do that. If I don't want you, I don't want you. It's clear. I don't hide it. I don't put you on any placeholding i don't need you for anything i'm not materialistic i don't need a man for whatever i mean it's nice to have a man do all of things all of those things but i want it to be a man that i actually want i'm not going to be keeping mugu shawarma guy data guy for me it's just demeaning as a girl but like i said the average nigerian girl has been raised with the mentality of always have a backup man who just in case so you don't want to reach 30 and you're married though so when you're raised with that sort of mentality you're going to have a lot of men on your placeholding list that you're getting one thing or the other from but you don't really want and you're waiting for the one you really want but when it's getting to what you might call the die the die is getting cast and you're not seeing the one you want then you just pick from any of those available ones that's why we have so many marriages on saturdays and so many divorces a couple of years later because they just married who was available not really who they wanted so yeah because of our societal pressure we tend to do these things and nigerian girls tend to do this thing so it is not an issue of not knowing how to chat it is an issue of just being would i say opportunist or just being going with the flow and keeping what's available but not being able because you're a human being you cannot pretend so much like there's a limit to how you can pretend you cannot fake emotions except for well, some people are witches and they can but you cannot keep giving a man 100 percent attention make him feel like he's loved when you don't love him he will feel there'll be something like this guy's not giving me attention she's not talking enough she, she doesn't want you so again to correct you it is not that nigerian women cannot talk it is that nigerian women don't want you but are keeping you for one reason or the other and it's high time you use your sense and just know that you're being played like literally somebody is just wasting your time and just getting what she wants from you and it is not that she cannot talk because you that she's treating that way there is another guy that she likes that she's talking to all the time and now i might not even like her that she's talking to all the time that she's giving all of her attention that she's you know chatting with and texting and calling and showering with love and attention that she's not giving you so it is not an inability it is an unwillingness to so i think when men put aside their denial put aside their ego and just come to terms with the fact that you know what she doesn't want me it would be easier instead of just painting us as nigerian girls cannot chat and making other nationalities think oh their girls can't chat hell haven't you seen um there was a video a viral video that's not the first one a lot of people said it this guy from the uk was like yo nigerian girls we just flirt they flirt a lot they just know how to flirt and if you're not careful you go fall in love because like i said if there's anything you see nigerian girls are deficient in it is not talking it is not conversation a nigerian girl will talk you into falling in love with her she will flirt and she might not even actually want you she might just think you're cute or something but she will flirt and you will actually start to fall in love it is a god-given talent so we know how to talk my brother <laughs> we know how to talk and they'll say oh nigerian girls are this if, if, if that's why i said it's a matter of lack of exposure you've not been exposed to other societies other cultures so you just know what you know based on nigeria but if you've had conversations with other people from other countries and they talk about nigerian women you'll be like are this the same are this the same you understand like i was in, in europe and nigerian girls were, uh, i mean i'm in europe presently uh even when i was in ukraine nigerian girls are basically worshipped you hear white men call them black goddesses you hear black men because they just they can't even wrap their head around the but you know a prophet is not appreciated in their homeland that is why nigerian men don't reach us but it's okay we said we don't reach people that much like that we just carry ourselves the way we carry ourselves but it's important for you to know what's what and what's not what important for you to know what's truth and what's fallacy important for you to know what's fact and what's myth and it is myth that nigerian girls cannot chat or can't hold conversations because we can i can talk circles around you and for me even if i'm not interested in you but you have intellectual capacity i actually would enjoy the conversation and i'll keep it going but in the event that you have 
have none of that i would just ghost you i will not put you on any place holding list because i really don't want anything to do with you and that's just how blunt i am and that's how also ukrainian girls are i will speak for them because that's what i know i mean poland i've not really had any relation with any polish girls so i can't really see how they are even though i know i knew one polish girl from ukraine but i can't really see how they are but i can speak for ukrainians because i've stayed here a while and that is what it is it is an issue of lack of interest trust me people every time you say that they say oh that's what they say is it like she has interest in me she doesn't have any interest in you you're deceiving yourself this one is you that is doing yourself you're deceiving yourself high time you wake up and smell the roses and know that bruv you're not wanted and if all the encounter you've had with nigerian girls is like this then i don't know what to tell you you're probably ugly i don't like to call people ugly but you're probably just you know unattractive to them or you don't have charm you don't have zero uh charisma and they just don't want you so it's a you problem it's not a nigerian girl problem so stop putting it on our heads you know fix yourself yeah fix yourself because if you're a speck you think if you're a speck a nigerian girl will not eh what are you saying <laughs> you think if you're a speck nigerian girl will not put in the work she won't be curious she won't be asking questions she won't be making conversations she won't chat first bruv come on now stop it <laughs> like actually stop it so yeah that's all i wanted to say about that that it is a myth that nigerian girls are bad at conversations we are not bad at conversations we just do not put in effort in anything that we don't actually really want if she's actually still holding on to you for whatever reason she is place holding like i said watch my video on place holding and you'll understand more on that but that she cannot chat myth not facts till next time i am always tori and um Check your comments as usual because like you're free to disagree i know a lot of men will disagree like i said check your ego and check the fact that you might be in denial but feel free to disagree and let's just talk in the comment section and uh till next time ciao happy halloween